friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today we're gonna talk about this new hair color. Uh, this is the lightest I have ever gone. Every single time I add color to my hair, I add a little bit of highlight, I add a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and then I'm like, ah, I should have added more. But this time, I think I've reached my max. I can't believe how blonde I am. It's really pretty. What do you guys think? I absolutely love it. Like the blonde really makes your curls pop. So I actually did not dye my hair myself this time. I went to a professional. I went in just to get a cut because my bangs were just getting too long. I wanted to reshape, making the back a little bit more fluffy as you could see. Let me give you a full view. Now instead of it just being like flat in the back, I actually have some volume and she gave me that round shape that I just love. And while I was there, I was like, I kind of want to add some more color. I was thinking I was just going to do my roots, but then I was just like, you know what? Let's do it. And I just pulled the plug and went lighter. But of course, I filmed the entire process at the salon. I did go to Curls One on One, which is my favorite salon here in California. They're located in Beverly Hills. Donatella is the stylist that cut my hair and her sister, Ezzy, is the one that did my color. Together, they are like the dynamic duo that always do an amazing job on my hair. My sister-in-law, my mother-in-law, every curly friend I know goes there. So if you're looking for a salon in California, in the LA area, I definitely recommend Curls One on One. I'll make sure to put all their information below in the description box. Make sure you let them know that I sent you. But yeah, let's uh, let's just roll the footage, shall we? So here we are, back to the beginning, and now my hair looks so dark in comparison. But as you could see, my length was just all over the place, kind of flat in the back. The color was very grown out, and it was just really time for a refresh. I just want my layers to be better. The back's kind of like flat again. Flat oh, you know, just to refresh it. Yeah, just a yes, little that more shape. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> I love the length. Yeah. Me too. Can we keep the length? Just to clean it up. And Only stylists to say, can we keep the length? <laughs> so you know you're in good hands. <laughs> and just give like the roundness here at the back. Yeah. Sure. This part is like more flat. Just to bring it up. Like because I feel like it's pretty yeah. square here. Exactly. Don't want to be SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> <laughs> Time to bring out the scissors. So when you go get a professional diva cut or a curly cut, you need to go in with your hair curly. If they ask you to straighten your hair, you need to run. If they ask you to brush out your hair, you should leave. If they cut it while it's wet, it's not ideal, but this is how curly hair should be cut while it's dry and while it's curly. Before I even knew what a diva cut was, I used to cut my hair while it was wet. But when you really think about it, that's such a bad idea because our hair looks the longest when it's wet. So now the stylist is cutting your hair thinking it's this long when you know it's gonna shrink up when you get home. So this way is so much better because now you're seeing your actual cut in its dry state, which is how it's going to actually look on a daily basis. I always go with my hair with like day two or three hairs so I get the volume and the shape that I usually have on a daily basis so they can see where my curls naturally lie. Do not show up to your appointment with a slick back bun, not pulled back into a ponytail. Make sure your hair is down with not too much product in it just so they can get through your hair without too many tangles and see the natural shape. I personally have bangs, so it is important for me to go in with my hair styled with the bangs so they can see how long or short my bangs are. If your hair is usually just in a middle part and you leave it kind of flat, it's okay to go in with freshly washed hair as long as your hair is dry. With the Diva Cut, they usually cut your hair first before they wash it, so keep that in mind not to go in there with dirty hair. So it's kind of more flat on this side, and now there's layers more rounder on this side. Seriously, do y'all see this shape right now? I'm obsessed. This is how you know your cut is good because you're seeing how it looks. If it was wet or straightened, you'd have no idea that this was going to be your ending result. So right now she's just doing the final touches, cutting curl by curl, whatever she sees fit, 
and my shape has just transformed everything. This is going to give me volume, make it easier to style, and just looks so much better. So now that Donatella has finished my cut, it's time to move on to color with Ezzy. Ezzy is the color specialist professional at the Curls One on One Salon. So as you can see, my color is so grown out. All the colors kind of just like at the ends. It has been about three months since I last did some color, so it's a safe time to do so. That way I'm not adding too much color all the time and damaging my curls, so my curls are still healthy and popping. And when I show Ezzy a photo of the color that I'm going for, she just mixes the colors herself to give me that exact match. So there's no specific name of the color that I'm using today. It's just based off of the photo that I brought in as my inspiration pick. So always bring in photos of the look that you're going for, whether it be for your cut or your color. One of the great things about going to Diva certified stylists and actual curly hair professionals is that they understand the importance of taking care of curly hair and not damaging it. So even though I am getting color, she's not using any bleach. She's using an ammonia free lightener with 20 volume developer. Ezzy is using two different colors on my hair, like the lighter brown and the blonde color, really giving my hair dimension so it's not just one full solid color. This is the second time Ezzy has dyed my hair and I've loved it both times and I've never experienced any damage. So you know when you don't want your food to splatter all over the place in the microwave? You put some saran wrap over it? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for yep. the microwave? <laughs> yep. The technique you just witnessed is called Pintura. So when you get Pintura highlights, that's not the name of the color, but it's the technique of painting your curls and specifically selecting which curls she wanted to paint. No foils, no extra heat. She just wrapped me up like some leftover food. Once we let the color sit, it's time to rinse it out and see exactly how it looks. When she rinsed it out, she used the Oligo Black Light Blue Shampoo, and this blue shampoo is to delete the unwanted orange or yellowness that might happen when you dye your hair. So this is gonna give me an actual true blonde and get rid of any brassy type of tones that we don't want. And the next step is to use Olaplex. Olaplex is a bond perfecter that helps rebuild and restore any broken bonds that may have been broken during the color process. This is such an important step to ensure that your curls are gonna remain healthy and prevent any damage. And now it's time for our stylers. They love using Diva Curl products at the salon. So they use the Decadence line. They also use a little bit of the Diva Curl Believe In and the Diva Curl Super Cream. Then both Ezzy and Donatella tag teamed the diffusing process. Yes, it takes a village. I wish that they lived with me and then they could just diffuse my hair for me all the time. <laughs> but my hair does take a very long time to dry. So we got it as dry as we possibly could for day one. This is the final look. Um, this is my day, maybe day three hair. I always leave a diva salon like very defined and my hair is usually still wet just because it takes a long time. But then once I go home and style it and make it even bigger on day two, day three, like it just looks so thank you, Donatella and Ezzy. You girls always do an amazing job and it makes it so easy for me to recommend you guys to anyone that I know, any subscribers watching, I 100% recommend Curls One on One. You will not regret it. They will help you transition. They will give you the color that you want. They'll give you the shape that you want. If you're feeling flat, they got you. So what do you guys think? I want your opinion. I mean, I want your good opinion. If you like it, leave me a comment. Let me know if you don't. Let's just keep that to yourself. Before you go, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'm about to post some fire photos with this new hair. You don't want to miss it. I'm going to need your double taps. And you can give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee, today. Mm -hmm.